So I am terrifyingly ambitious about changing <laughs> the working world, and I don't apologize for that. So before I started this Afghanistan task, I was already on a journey. Uh, I'd done my PhD in leadership and did some postdoctoral research about the experience of the working parents. And as a parent myself, I've got a five and a two year old, I was marinating on the fact that the future prospects as a working parent are a bit shit. <laughs> and so I thought we can do this better. So I did some more research and started a movement, hashtag work school hours. I would love you to Google search that, hashtag work school hours. And from that, uh, a second movement, hashtag belonging, autonomy, purpose. And I believe that people can have much better experiences in the workplace where they feel that they have a better sense of belonging, where they're actually valued and included to bring their full authentic self, where people have autonomy so that they can also attend to things outside of work that they care about, which could be children or other things, and that where people feel they have a sense of purpose. So that's the mission that I'm on. And I just wanna say that the Afghanistan evacuation task, which is very much a team effort. So uh, first of all, my teammates included Cliff Parkins, who's here tonight, uh, and also Martin Dransfield, um, our incredible friends in the media, Mark, Jules from TVNZ, as well as Claire, our Afghan interpreter friends, Abdul Ali and Ali Jan, who are here tonight, donors, incredible government collaborators. And at the end of this freaking difficult task, uh, which took a real toll, uh, I reflected with my teammates on how on earth did we achieve this? And what I realized is that it had become my best case study yet to prove that belonging autonomy purpose works. So belonging, I have never felt such a sense of belonging to bring the full Ellen to a team task before. My team saw me in tears. They saw me swearing in anger. They saw me doing ridiculous rap videos. They got the full Ellen in my dressing gown at nine o'clock Zoom meeting, breastfeeding my baby. And because I felt safe and included to be my full self, I could also bring my A game, so that's belonging. Autonomy, I mean, we weren't working school hours, we were working in the middle of the night, but the principles are true. We never said to each other, these are the hours we're going to work. We just agreed that these are the outputs that we were going to do, and we did it in and around our lives, which included our normal job and our children. So that's autonomy. And the third one is purpose. So all of us from all these different Again, very much a team effort with supporters and collaborators. We had this common sense of purpose, which is get these people out of Afghanistan and safely to New Zealand. So please look it up, hashtag work school hours, hashtag belonging autonomy purpose. I really believe the working world can be a shitload better and it's commercially smart. Thank you very much. That's power there, that's power, very powerful.